Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to talk about two seemingly uh, unconnected things. Uh, a conditioned response and Kiruv, bringing someone close to God. A conditioned response, um, uh, you, you do something and you connect two things uh, so it becomes almost automatic. For example, anyone who's been through uh, basic training, who's been a combat soldier, you've been trained because you've done it thousands of times. When you hear a bang, an explosion, a shot, you hit the dirt. And you do it before you even think because the muscle memory is there. And it's, it happens before and you don't have to think about it. You hear it many times, veterans have come back from battle. And they'll, they're at home, they're away from uh, the combat zone, screen door slams shut, immediately they hit the ground. It uh, comes through training. Uh, so what's the connection with Kirov? Like the, um, like the uh, almost reflex-like reaction, uh, some people are so attuned to uh, their mission of bringing people close to, to, um, to the Creator that, that, for lack of a better expression, that muscle memory is there. And they're always, uh, they're always ready for the opportunity. And um, a wonderful story um, brings this out. A uh, secular um, Jewish young man was driving through a Jewish neighborhood. He's totally, you know, not religious at all. And tragically, as he's driving, he's, he's not speeding, he's not being negligent, he's not, you know, being a, a careless driver. An Orthodox child darts out from between two parked cars. Before he can even slam on the brakes, the car hits the child. And knocks him down. The the man was never charged. It was, it was an accident. He could not have, he could not have avoided it. He wasn't speeding. He wasn't being reckless. He wasn't being careless. He wasn't being negligent. It just happened. Um, but the fact that he wasn't charged, he didn't suffer any legal consequences. The man was consumed with guilt. Uh, the boy, was, who was in uh, was in the hospital, was in a coma. For weeks and weeks, they didn't know what was to be. And the man was being eaten up by this, this sense of guilt. He, fe he, he felt the need to somehow make amends, to, to do something. After a, after a little while, he goes to the hospital and he visits the child. He goes there and he's nervous and he doesn't know what to do. And He's directed to the room, the child's room, the child's in a coma. And his parents are there, both obviously observant Orthodox Jews. And he kind of stands at the door and the mother comes to him and he introduces himself and he says, I was the driver of the car that hit your child. Tell me, tell me what I can do. Tell me what I can do to, to help. Now, he was thinking that maybe, well, you know, he can help with the with the medical bills, with the, with, the, with the care afterwards. No. Without missing a beat, the, the Orthodox woman looks at the man and she says, you want to do something that would help? You want to do something? You want to, you want to help? He says, yes, of course. What is it? He says, commit yourself to being Shemr Shabbos. Commit yourself to being a Sabbath observant Jew didn't miss a beat. Her entire life was focused around bringing people closer to God as soon as the opportunity presented itself. In, in a situation where you, that wouldn't necessarily be a person's first thought. He says, you want to help? Commit yourself. Be Shomer Shabbos. Be a Sabbath observant Jew. That's what you can do to help. And so the the man took his leave, and um, he said, uh, well, that's, that's what they want. It wasn't even what he was expecting, that's what he wanted. And so um, he started becoming more observant, 
um, started becoming Shabbat Shabbos, became quite orthodox. And um, eventually, he met uh, uh, a nice Jewish girl, also observant, and they got married. And the guests of honor at the wedding were the parents of the child, the woman who carved him, her husband, the child's father, and the child who made a complete recovery, a Rafu Shlema, from uh, the events. And um, if it wasn't for that conditioned response, if it wasn't for that automatic reaching out for a Jew, second nature to her, she didn't even think about it, it's the first thing that came out of her mouth. Um, this happy ending, as it were, uh, could not have been. Uh, let us condition ourselves. Uh, let us build that, uh, that, not muscle memory, that spirit memory, that soul memory, uh, that we look for and we see every opportunity that presents itself to us to help someone else come a little step closer to the Creator and uh, closer to the service of God. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.